Oh, Gary, Nasai, Minasan. Today, we're gonna talk about Kamen Rider Geeks episode 6. This episode is amazing, but it is not as good as the one we have from episode 4. Episode 4, Neon actually have amazing story art. Like, he grow as a character, he break through as a character. But in episode 6, when we see that in Azuma, we don't really see that, okay? Like, Azuma basically make a little, little decision for to actually help Tycoon rather than helping Mary itself, okay? So that is really, really interesting. But with that being said, we want to talk about more about Kamen Rider Mary because this is going to be his final appearance in the entire show itself or not, okay? Maybe in the future, we're going to see him coming back into the series. We do not know, but I would assume this is the end for Mary. And we learned that Mary turns out to be a con man, okay? He is a card dealer from an illegal casino. And that is why he is very, very good with his card trick. His, he knows how to use the finger touch. You know, like sometimes like some poker player really says that, oh, I can touch the card. I can feel what card is it? Something like that. And maybe they are, they, I don't know, okay? Maybe that, that Kung Fu or that technique is really existing in this world that I, I really do not know about, but I try it. I couldn't tell a difference. I mean, like I'm just a guy trying to record video on, on YouTube, okay? So I, I really do not know anything about card dealing, but that is a really, really interesting part about Morio, the Kamen Rider Mary. Another thing I want to talk about Kamen Rider Mary here is that his dream was never revealed to us at all throughout the entirety of the season. Uh, throughout the entirety of the sixth episode, we never actually get to hear what Kamen Rider Mary actually wants. But based on our understanding of how people would act in a normal sense, like in a normal life, something like that, Kamen Rider Mary is definitely someone that would wish for to be the richest man on the world. Because when someone become a con artist or become an illegal card dealer or something like that, he would definitely want to be rich. No one would do this type of job if he, do if he doesn't want to be rich, okay? Like he con people so that he can get rich. So that is why he. I would assume that his desire is to become the richest man on the entire world, something like that, okay? So, the next thing I want to talk about is why didn't the boost rice buckle flew away after S. Ukiyo used it in episode 5? I felt like this is a, a big, big plot hole, but it can be explained, okay? It definitely can be explained, but I really, really hope that in the show itself, they would actually properly establish what is the rule for the boost rice buckle and it I I hope they don't leave it to the audience to make up the conclusion of how when does the boost rice buckle will flew away and when does the boost rice buckle wouldn't flew away something like that. I would assume the boost rice buckle would only flew away after the the finisher of boost was being used okay if you doesn't use the boost finisher the boost rice buckle will not fly away. In episode 5, S didn't use the boost finisher, he used the magnum finisher, okay? So that is the difference between what Buffa did today. Buffa actually used the boost finisher, the boost striker stuff. I do not know what he did. Maybe like a rider punch to the floor, boost punch, something like that. And, and that is how and, and, and that is why boost rice buckle actually flew away after the usage of Buffa, but not in episode 5 when Giz actually use it. That is my theory. But then again, I could be wrong. Let me know in the comment section below what do you think of this theory? Because I am really, really excited to find out what do you guys think about this little thing called the Boost Rice Buckle. The next thing I want to talk about is Kewa. Okay, we got a little bit of. I feel like the more we know about Kewa, the more he seems like the main character of the show, the more he seems like the hero of the show. Okay, like someone that doesn't have his own inner desire, his inner desire to see other people happy. Okay, if other people is happy, then I am happy. The the self-sacrificing spirit. He maybe he have a hero complex. We do not know if you want to call that a hero complex, you can call that a hero complex. Personally, I love someone like Kewa. They save people no matter what. But I also love a story where a hero like this was being proven wrong in his ethic. Okay, because like if he if he only focus on other people, 
at the end of the day, he himself is going to get killed. He himself will not be able to protect the one that he really cares about. And maybe when that happens, his sister might die maybe throughout the series. That is just a theory. I mean, we do actually get to see quite a lot of the sisters. So the sister is definitely going to make a return and the sister is going to play a crucial role in the future to move the story forward, I believe. Or maybe the sister is going to be a part of the DGP in the next round because we know in the next episode it is gonna be the final round of this round of DGP Daybreak F if not mistaken so I would assume this is A, B, C, D, E, F the 6th round of DGP now and now and moving forward in episode 9 or 10 we're gonna see the 7th round of DGP that is just a theory I wanna emphasize that again before you guys spam me in the comment section below hey how do you know this is which round of the dgp blah 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 something like that okay but yeah i just want to make that clear but let me move on to the next thing okay s and azuma so s definitely know azuma that he he saw azuma from before okay he know azuma so s is just trying to act like oh i don't I, I do not know you and all those stuff but this time we actually got confirmation that s does know azuma knows about azuma and s do know about the rider that tries to take advantage of other riders during the dgp itself and s doesn't do anything about that at all okay so and we also learn what is the as what is azuma real real desire he didn't wish to to actually for 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 all the rider to be destroyed okay he de he didn't win that he didn't wishes for that but he does wish for something really really interesting he wished to gain power to destroy all the rider itself so if he actually get his wish come true like the power to destroy all the rider it would actually create kind of like a hyper muteki rice buckle i would assume but at the same time all the previous rider that was deleted is gonna get resurrected because if in order to make azuma's desire a reality he will need a hyper muteki rice buckle and also all the rider that ever participated or ever became a Kamen Rider itself so that he can challenge all of them all at once. So my my theory will still come to pass, okay? My theory about how Azuma is going to be the one that wins the DGP and resurrect all the previous Rider just to get revenge, but at the same time, save his friend as well. So we all, let's, let's talk about his friend, okay? Because we actually get to see more clearly two Rider that actually sabotage his friend. How do they look like and who they are okay first we got an elephant Kamen Rider I already talked about this in the previous episode right now I say that it is definitely gonna be an elephant looking uh, rider and one thing that I really did not expect is how freaking long the nose is okay the nose is really long I, I really did not expect them to do that in a rider show but it is long okay that is a long ass nose and the next one is gonna be a Elk Kamen Rider, definitely a, a an animal with a horn. We are not sure what is it. Maybe like a what is a male sheep or something, a ram or something like that. Okay, so maybe it is a, a rider that is something like that. We do not know. Okay, a god maybe maybe it's a god rider. So stay excited because we are definitely gonna see them really really soon especially with the next episode becoming the final round of this round of the dgp itself really really crazy stuff i i am really really excited okay to talk about dgp like the more we see about look at camera the gates the more crazy it is right now the pacing is a little bit fast but i felt like when we actually start to get to know more about the information regarding the dgp things are gonna slow down a little bit okay we are still not sure whether or not the dgp is the good guy or the bad guy i will assume that the dgp is definitely gonna be the good guy but the thing that they are doing right now to choose the best rider to fight in the final war could actually be arguably bad i would assume but really really amazing stuff okay so the next thing i want to talk about is summary talking about the retirement of a Kamen Rider. So finally, in this episode, we get to hear Kewa Tycoon ask 
Sumori. So what does retire actually mean? Is he dead or something like that? And Sumori say that oh he 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 was sent back to the real world and he 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 got his memory deleted and all those stuff. Okay, he he doesn't remember anything about the DGP. So. Is this the truth? I don't know, man. I really do not know if we can believe this. Means that we have to believe everything Sumori actually says, and I, I really don't want to believe Sumori. Okay, I really want to see like a major plot twist, like ha ha ha, DGP, I am the evil one, something like that. But then again, I could be wrong. Very, very amazing stuff. I mean, like we, we do actually get to see like the DGP mastermind actually say something like, oh, the war is ending again. And the final boss is gonna come here. Will the hero be able to stop them? Something like that. So all of this stuff really makes me seems like maybe the game master is not the evil one here, like the Jamato, and him has no correlation. Maybe both of them are um are alien race. Okay, like one alien race came to attack and another one came to protect. A little bit similar, like Ultraman, if you really think about it. But then again, I could be wrong. And let me talk about next episode. I, I throughout this episode review, I have been talking about the next episode for crazy because next episode is gonna be big. Ninja Rice Buckle making its debut next episode. God damn, looks good. And I was right. As Ukiyo is gonna get that Rice Buckle first before Tycoon even get his hands on the Ninja Rice Buckle. Okay, really, really crazy stuff. I'm really excited. For next episode, I can't wait. I, I I don't know what to expect right now, but four riders remaining in the DGP. Who is gonna win? Is it gonna be Giz? Is it gonna be Nago? Tycoon? Or is it gonna be Buffa? That is all from me. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like what you see here, you know what to do. Let me know in the comment section below and I'll be seeing you guys on the next one. Goodbye.